it won't last forever, but it is going to last a while. So make sure that you adjust to the situation oh, yeah, and yeah, keep yeah. yourself healthy. Don't think of it as like, ah, well, I'm just going to stop living like my life for a week and then get back to it. No, no, you no. You got to no. adapt. Keep to what you normally do as best as you can. Hello. Oh, hi. Long time no see. Yeah, because we can't. This is true, actually. Yeah, Ooh. it's it's been a while. I'm glad we got that one session of two podcasts recorded in person before we yeah. won't be able to see each other for the next decade or so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope everyone out there is, is doing all right, you know, taking your walks and everything. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I figured we should talk about in this episode. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have had enough talk about coronavirus at this point, but I think it would be good to talk about how to stay sane while you're stuck inside. I think that's it's relevant and good to good to know about. How have you been? I have been doing all right. To be honest, life is surprisingly just it keeps going. Everything's just yeah. going online. There's not too much of a difference, to be honest. I feel the same way. Like, the, not the not too much of a difference thing. That's definitely, it definitely is a difference. But I'm, you know, having an uh, all right time because as long as I have my family here and my girlfriend here and we can still go outside as long as much as we want i'm kind of chilling like we have food we we order our groceries online so oh that's a good idea actually yeah you don't need to go in the store hmm that's a hot tip actually because i was planning on going back soon yeah there, there you go but i think what i really wanted to focus on today was as we always talk about the three pillars of health we've got yeah. the exercise the food the sleep because when everything in your life kind of falls apart or gets canceled, it can be tempting, I think, to just get rid of those or not care about them. And just do nothing. Exactly. Do nothing or just entirely focus on how to get other parts of your life in order, like working life mm. or whatnot. But it's still very important to keep these, keep these healthy if things going. More. If not, actually a lot more, because if you do get the virus, those are what are going to help you along. Yeah. It's extremely important right now. Yeah. So I was having a little meme and listening to our podcast, everyone. Hope we're uh, keeping you sane out there, keeping you, keeping you going from all these hot tips. Yeah, I'm sure that the listeners are going to be fine because they don't have to sit here and watch your face fade in and out of reality with the Aurora Borealis <laughs> picture you've got. <laughs> yeah. That's what's really going to drive me. This is recorded, right? This is recorded, actually, yeah. So are you uploading this video? You know what? Sure, yeah, I'll upload a video yes! version. Because it would be too hard to explain uh, what's going on. So just check the video version if you want to see why we're referencing how I look right now. Because I look stranger than normal. We're having a little bit of fun with the virtual backgrounds in Zoom, the video conferencing software. Mm -hmm. It sometimes does a good job with them. Like with my virtual background, it's doing all right. But yours, not so much. No, really not. I'm turning into the Aurora Borealis. I think it's <laughs> you're just too white, Evan. Honestly, get outside Maybe. or something, man. Hey, it's so snowy. I did go outside, but I just got covered in snow. I didn't get any sun. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. I just got covered in rain when I went outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are the, is it, are the streets down there, uh, down in the city, like more empty than usual? Or? It's definitely emptier than usual. Yeah. Because huh. where I live here, there's been at least probably the same amount of people out because everybody's home from work now. So everybody's walking their dogs and like all the stuff like that. I saw one, one thing which sort of relates to one of the tips for staying healthy at this public park. 
these moms from this neighborhood all like met up and were staying like six to eight feet apart and they brought lawn chairs so they set up their lawn chairs like six to eight feet apart in like a big square and we're just like talking from there i i heard uh somebody else saying that their dad with a, a bunch of the other dads on the street invited them for a uh, an isolated beer so they did the same they stayed like six to eight feet apart but just like stood on opposite sides of the street it's just, just for like having a beer fair enough that worked so it's just like a bunch of dads just lining the street having a beer at least a few yeah okay interesting that works yeah i might i might just have to do something like that but yeah has how have you been dealing with the changes of like having to stay home all the time in general or like specifically health wise uh i guess well like for me i have to leave the house and like be outside for uh like an hour or two a day otherwise i'm like going crazy that's exactly why i thought you would be the person perfect person to ask this because i know you would (laughs) literally go insane if you just sat inside yeah, if this quarantine got to where we literally for no reason could go outside, I'm pretty sure I would just like, I don't know what I'd do, explode. I assume you'd but, just start running around the house like in the hallways yeah, or some shit. I don't know. Just make a treadmill, take apart a car mm. and make a treadmill. <laughs> no, I don't know. But um, uh, I've been going sometimes alone, sometimes with Sangi for like at least a couple walks per day um that are like at least an hour each time and or been going for bikes or runs as well just getting lots of uh outdoor time preferably to like wooded areas or places like that one because they're nice and like have like fresh air and stuff and two because then there's less people you're likely to be in close proximity to that's the main thing just for like movement and getting outside and stuff like that just walking running biking all those things you can still do you just have to think about where you're doing it obviously not with people you don't live with i guess you can but just stay far away from each other just get that six feet actually yeah i saw a couple of couple of lads running down the street the other day they were about six feet apart that's pretty good Just out for a run yeah i'm considering uh asking some friends if they want to just like go for a run but like stay in a row yeah (laughs) in a row with five feet apart yeah you could do something like that just get a big group going empty street (laughs) look like an actual like (laughs) parade (laughs) yeah exactly start to get like dangerous numbers of people together yeah (laughs) that'd be something but have you been like exercising or any of that or just um running biking that kind of stuff yeah, well, the the running and biking and walking has been good for, for like, my exercise. But if I want to get something more intense in, we have a couple dumbbells laying around, dumbbells and barbells. They're not super heavy, but, like, if I do a ton of reps, I'll do the job. Mm-hmm. Or there's um an outdoor exercise park nearby. Seems dangerous. It's just, yeah, it's it's usually empty, which is nice. But it's just a bunch of, like, chin-up bars and dip bars and stuff. Mm-hmm. So th- um, I just make sure that I wear gloves when I'm there I and guess, then don't yeah. touch anything with the gloves. Mm-hmm. And uh, nobody's, yeah, nobody's usually there. So that's not a risk. Yeah, that's true. Nobody actually uses those. But still, there's, I, I assume there'd be like two or three people. Weirdos out there using the public exercise. It's so good. Me and the weirdos. I'm not a weirdo. Yeah. How about you? I've been trying to, well, I've been going for some walks. I'm in a very urban area. So like there are some streets nearby I can walk around a little bit, but it's usually like 20 minutes or so, but it's not too bad. Oh, okay. Keeps me from going totally insane. Yeah. Actual cabin fever. Yeah. And then I've been, last few days, I've been doing uh, this one like workout I found online. It's just like 12 minutes of high intensity cardio. And, like, I'm finally at the point where I can actually do the full 12 minutes. Oh, that's pretty high intensity, then. Yeah. Well, I was also, like, not good (laughs) cardio-wise. 
I was up to like nine minutes and I was like, I'm dying. It, like it's intense, yeah. but I'm also mildly out of shape. Yeah, I feel like that would be a useful thing to start doing too, like at home, high intensity workouts like that. Yeah, I I found a website with a bunch of them, like 10 to 20 minute ones. And I just printed them out. I've actually, I've been reading a lot too oh, right yeah. now because it's, well. it's quite nice if you have to stay inside more to just like make a coffee and over it just read a nice book for like a while Mm -hmm. and then you know get your walker and maybe go for a walk around the block because i sound like a hundred years old but it is very nice Mm -hmm. with this sort of thing especially when it's cold out yeah i want to do some more reading i really need to listen to and learn from all the stuff from our deep work episode because i really haven't been respecting like any like of the put boundaries on your work rules that we came up with lately oh yeah yeah like which sort of ones would you want to implement i think some form of putting limits on the day so that i'm not like just getting up at 8 or 9 a.m starting work and then stopping at like 10 or 11 p.m holy you know what the heck with like breaks in the middle but you know yeah it just feels like all right well i guess i'm up i'll get started doing stuff I mean, since that's funny, cause since we talked about it, actually, I've only done the one strategy, which is the the Teddy Roosevelt one. But I've done that every day and then not worked like one of the two weekend days each week. And that's worked so well for me. I've been way more productive than I usually would be. Nice. Yeah, it's been blessed because like, Usually, like, my one, one form of my pr- procrastination would be, like, I can just do this, like, later in the day. It's fine. But then now I'm, like, no, I can't. I have to do it now. It's between the hours of – I'm doing usually more, like, 9.30 to 5.30 or 10 to 6 now, but mm-hmm. it's very nice. Yeah, no, that is. Yeah, actually, some of the stuff from the last episode was very helpful, specifically, like, the, rhythm- the rhythmic method. That was super good for editing the podcast afterwards. Yeah. Like that would just be the first thing I'd do. I'd get up in the morning and then just get in like an hour or two of editing and then get on with my day. And I wouldn't turn on my phone or like talk to anyone or do anything else before I got that done. Mm. That was super chill. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I did to try and keep myself focused or more productive was to actually construct a cubicle slash blanket fort in one of the corners <laughs> of my apartment that i'm in right now oh that's why your green screen's working yes exactly because i'm backed up against a wall right now ah. with like a nice sheet to my left here and then my monitor is in front of me with like a whiteboard as well between them it's a pretty sweet setup if i do say so myself hmm, sounds pretty good but what i've noticed is that if I try and separate it so that all my work gets done in this little office and everything that isn't work, I do other places like living room, kitchen table, that kind of stuff. I don't actually have anything to do outside of the office. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All the things that I do happen in here. You should, uh, yeah, read a book, I guess. Yeah, Zoomer. One one thing Yeah. that... I did the other day with Sangi, which is, uh, you might not have the stuff to do it. Do you have any yeast packets? <laughs> not that I know of. <laughs> well, we made sourdough bread. We just made a loaf of sourdough bread. It took like mm. six days. Okay. But, uh, so that, that was an, a new hobby to take up bread making that we're going to be doing a lot of during, <laughs> being stuck inside. Cause it takes it takes like a, a long time to start for the particular for like sourdough you need a fermentation starter and like we wanted to not have to keep buying yeast packets mm-hmm. so the way you do it is you take a yeast packet i think for us it was what uh maybe like four cups of flour two cups of water and two tablespoons of sugar or something and you mix that with the yeast packet in a bowl cover it with plastic wrap or whatever and let it sit in a room temperature place for five days it says to stir once a day but we didn't 
and uh, nothing came bad of it. So, you know, you don't actually have to. <laughs> you don't actually have to ever follow the instructions, really. Yeah. They're more suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so after five days, we uh, uncovered it and checked it out. And it was super interesting and bubbly, and it smelled exactly like beer. <laughs> so, <laughs> Okay. Interesting. That was a good sign. And it's really good, actually. <laughs> Tastes freaking delicious. On the topic of food, because that's yeah. another thing that I have been thinking about. I guess you're at home right now. So, like, do you yeah. have parent parentals making your meals? Or, like, uh, you cook sometimes? I don't know. They make dinner every day, which is that's absolutely nice. blessed. That yeah. It's so nice. It's so nice. Um, so, I just have to do lunch and breakfast and or brunch. So maybe just one other meal a day sometimes. We, we've we been ordering groceries online, so we haven't been hurting too bad. But, like, we have, we're have we having a lot of, like, frozen fruits and vegetables. A lot of, like, canned fish or, we have a lot, like, a freezer full of frozen meat. But we already had the freezer full of frozen meat because we get it from a farmer. Out of curiosity, what do you use to order the groceries? Oh, we're just doing it from Superstore now. Oh, okay. Like, you, they you'd just be surprised, deliberate? actually. Um, you go pick it up, like you, you go to the parking lot and then they come out to the parking lot with a cart full of your groceries. Oh, okay. And yeah. And then give it to you and then you load them all in your car. Oh yeah. That's what we usually do at uh, Walmart. Yeah. But I believe, uh, there are also delivery mm. like to your house for groceries, but we haven't really looked for that because mm. it doesn't make much of a difference for us because we have a car here. So yeah. Do you think I could? Do you think no frills would do something like that? I'm sure they would. Especially mm. now. That's like most of the grocery business right now. Oh, yeah, that is like the top link when I just look up no frills delivery. About online groceries. No frills. Ooh. This is a, this is a hot tip for all the listeners too cuz no matter where you are, I know this is affecting you. So. Yeah, seriously. So yeah, that's that's one thing. A lot of that's uh, a that's a hot tip. Another one: get flour and yeast instead of bread, and then you just have infinite bread. Hmm. Do you need like a I mean, a bread maker? No, you said you just made it yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> Though honestly, yeah. who wants bread? Oh, it's so good. I don't know. Literally, it, the yeah. only food you need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. not to be healthy but to not die actually that's True. a lie that's potatoes but you know <laughs> bread's a second have you purchased your obligatory 20 packages of toilet paper yet we already had that more or less so <laughs> why oh not 20 packages well we uh, just get like uh one of the big packs at costco every like however many months it takes us to go through that and we mm. were only like halfway through so should be solid for a while. I don't get why toilet paper is the thing that everybody bought. The explanation I hear most people giving is other people are getting it, so they're getting it. But I don't know who started it. <laughs> yeah, because, like, in this sort of situation, that's the last thing I think of. In a pinch, you can use water, you can use old newspapers, you can use a leaf, you can go out to back and grab a leaf. Like Though, honestly, all the other options sound kind of shit. Well, they do sound very shitty, actually. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Anyways. but So, yeah, of course you want some on hand, but <laughs> all of it? But, yeah. Like, who, why are they like, oh, it's imperative that I don't run out of toilet paper during this respiratory virus crisis? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Like, I get food if you're going to be inside isolated for a long time. That that's a good like idea. Like food's Stop only natural. Food. Yeah. I thought. You would think, and I mean, there is a lot of food that's just gone, right? Like the pastas. But yeah, on the topic of food, it's really made me realize that if you have habits that work already, just stick with them. Yeah. Because I had the thought when I was, when I realized that I'd have more time at home, and I'd be like, maybe I should try cooking, but. I have never enjoyed it. I always hate doing it. it. Yeah. It's just not a good time. And that has still held true. 
Still not down? Yeah, still not down. Meal prepping like once a week, just get the food done and then eat it throughout the week is still the way to go. Yeah, if it works for you. Yeah. What have you been making lately? Still more or less just the same stuff. The one thing that I make every week, which is rice, sweet potatoes, a vegetable medley, some... Actually, usually some tofu. I put some chicken in it this time because there's a bunch left over from when uh, my mom was in town visiting. You found a meat-based replacement. Desperate times. I'll take the food. But yeah, that has been good. That's still just the best option I find. Even though I'm at home all the time, I'm still only going to eat whatever's easiest or quickest to get. So the thing that I can just pull out is great. You know what is pretty hype, though? What? Our landlords, we live in like the basement of a building, right? But Mm -hmm. apparently they just made a lot of soup and had some extra and we're like, hey, do you want some? And it's actually not bad. So we took some. How much is a lot? I have no idea how much they made, but they probably gave us like a liter of soup or something. That's quite nice. Yeah. It's not bad. It's a trap. It's actually infected with COVID. Like, I hope not. They did, like, a dead drop on the porch with it so that we wouldn't yeah. have to see each other. And then you heat it up again, so. Well, it's not food transmitted anyways, but. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, I hope they wouldn't lick the soup. <laughs> I hope they wouldn't anyways, like, even if we didn't have yeah. a corona pandemic no, going on. Reg- non-pandemic times, that's absolutely fine. That's expected, in fact. <laughs> but. All right. All right, here's here's my theory. You know how everybody always is saying that if something is bad, it's cancer? That's yes. just the slang. Is it going yeah. to become corona? That's pretty corona. I think it'll, it'll be, that's pretty COVID. That's pretty COVID. That's better, yeah. I don't think it'll be corona because corona is too many things. That's true. Yeah, that has other yeah. meanings. Yeah. Unless we really want to like tank the image of corona beer. I saw something about that. They were either selling somewhat more somewhat less and speaking of that we found a local brewery that uh actually does delivery so mm-hmm. we placed an order today Ooh. we're gonna be set nice we got the food we got the beer no worries oh shit corona stock is on the rise everyone discovered a place to buy it online they're like oh <laughs> i'm gonna buy some corona I think everybody's probably just buying it for the meme. Probably. <laughs> it's liquid Corona. Glug. <laughs> 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 uh, so funny. Yeah. This, this is comedy at its peak right now, really. Wake me up when there's a Bud Light virus. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hard to come up with a plethora of things, uh, tips and tricks for surviving uh without interacting in person with other humans <laughs> well that's that's pretty much what it is so yeah more or less I, well it's without other humans and it's trying to stay healthy when your when your life or schedule changes yeah it, it's probably very similar to if you move or get a new job or something like that like a big part of your life changes and you have to adapt to it I, w- I would say for for me, I can boil it down to go outside walking or something or biking or running for at least an hour a day to get the sun, preferably if you can when it's daytime. Find a way to get good, healthy food online so you don't have to interact with people to get it like in a store or anything. And read some books. If you follow those, you should not die. Ideally. Ideally, you know, that's the goal. Yeah, actually, that covers exercise and food pretty well. Have you, or well, you don't have many problems with sleep generally, right? I assume that hasn't well, changed. What's, uh, what's been going on lately mm-hmm. is uh, we came home Sunday, right? Last Sunday. Yeah. Um, and I gave Sangi my room and I'm sleeping on uh, in the basement over here, like on the couch. Yeah. And I usually sleep absolutely phenomenally on couches like i have the best sleeps of my life on couches i don't know why that's weird yeah okay yeah i don't i don't know why but if i'm like 
at a, my grandparents' house and I sleep on the couch, I sleep amazing. If I'm like over at a friend's place and I sleep on the couch, I sleep amazingly. But I hadn't been sleeping amazingly there. Hmm. And I realized it's because I like took the back cushions off and like made it too much like a bed and not enough like a couch. So I set it up like a couch again and slept on it last night. And I slept, had like nine solid hours of sleep and I woke up feeling so good. <laughs> what is up with that? You need you sleep better on a couch than a bed. Yes, like way better. <laughs> Any idea why? Absolutely no idea. Maybe <laughs> actually, you know what? My old bed was a futon. It was like a couch sort of thing that you could like unfold so it would just be a really wide double bed. Like a futon, um, yeah. Yeah, but a lot of the time I was lazy. And I would just leave it up as a couch and sleep ah, on that. Okay. So maybe I just gained the habit then. That makes sense, and actually. It just yeah. never went away. It's like people who aren't used to beds who sleep better on the floor because they're yeah. just used to it. Yeah. I sleep better on couches. Wacky. All right. Yeah. I sound like such a freaking uh, couch surfer right now. How about you? Is your sleep been suffering at all? Or? It was good for a while, but not good lately. Oh, no? How come? No, I think it is mostly because I haven't been good at controlling the work, like the times that I do it. When you're working like all day, it's just high levels of stress constantly. And it's hard to like Mm. come down from that and start to like sleep. I imagine your like just movement level during the day has been reduced a lot because of the like your current situation. So I'd say somewhat, but... I don't know how much. I don't know. My exercise levels, like actual exercise, aren't overly different. Yeah. Well, yeah, I find I find now like it is weird because I usually have like a twenty-five minute walk in the morning just to get to school. Like I don't even think about it. That's just like every day. Yeah. Versus now, if I wanted, I could literally not walk at all for the whole day and like mm-hmm. be fine. So going for like these two-hour-long walks, I've been going on. Mm-hmm. it feels like I'm putting in, like, it feels like I'm walking a lot more than I normally do. But in reality, I'm keeping a pretty, cons- I've been keeping a pretty consistent step count from my routine before, mm-hmm. because before mm-hmm. it'd be like 25 minutes, walk to school, 25 minutes, walk back and then walk to get groceries, which is only like three blocks, but like walk to get groceries and then yeah. walk back. And then if I do something else, then boom, you're over 10,000 steps. Yeah, so it's just walking so, for pleasure instead now. Yeah, or, or just like to keep to sane. Keep yeah, sane and healthy and. Oh, you know what is pressure. something that's very good to do still is mm-hmm. stretching. Man, that helps a lot. That is true, especially with the increased sitting. I think a lot of people will be able to relate to that. You need to like stretch out your back and neck and everything. It's so stretch good. Stretch your arse muscles. Exactly. Yeah. Just like. Get into YouTube, look up yoga neck or back or something, and then boom, follow it. Saved your Mm -hmm. life right there. So one thing to do when you're in uh, isolation is to uh, just, you know, go through all your shit and uh, find old hockey cards and see how much of a lame opinion you had on hockey back in the day. Honestly, I would suggest people try, like, Marie condoing their stuff. That's what my mother's been doing. She Ooh. organized the whole food pantry and like labeled where everything's supposed to go. Like flour goes here, sugar goes here, like all that sort of stuff, which yeah. is really nice because it's pretty easy to follow. And That's then, sweet. Um, yeah. Yeah. And just like the whole parts of our house she's been going through, like that usually we like sort of clutter builds up she just goes through and it's just like totally like overhauling it just because she because she's a teacher too mm-hmm. so she last week had nothing and this week she's like still just like waiting for parents to email her back saying like how much she can send them for the kids to study and stuff mm-hmm. so she's like filling her days just by like absolutely making the house mint that is so. that is a good idea. Now is the time to take on those kinds of projects. And that's some work you have that's not in your fort. That's very true, yeah. That would be taking some of the stuff out of my fort and sorting through mm-hmm. 
Exactly. There you go. See, I've been thinking about doing that for a while, but then I always think, ah, but I got to get stuff done. But now you're yeah. like, I'm trapped in my house. <laughs> yeah, no, that that is on the list of projects that I want to try to accomplish. Interesting question. What's your take on people checking the news right now? What do you mean? Well, I know that there are some people who will check it like many times throughout the day, just kind of like freaking and like seeing what's going on with that. Yeah. But then there's also people like me who still just can't bring themselves to check the news, even though I really want to know what's going on. I just, I don't want to check the news. Just because you're like afraid of what you might find? No, I just hate doing it just in general. I just resent the news. (laughs) Oh, what we do here is we just have the radio on just like in the background pretty much all the time and then just turn it up if there's something of interest. Hmm. So if you have a radio, that's pretty useful. They'll tell you everything. Oh, okay. Also, that sounds so annoying. I would hate that. Really? (laughs) Yeah, I I don't want the background noise going on. I don't know. Well, it's music usually. (laughs) Oh, fair enough. (laughs) And the radio is always wacky. Like my parents have it on whenever I'm visiting. You don't like it? No, well, like there's music and then there's all these ads and it's the, one of the few times in life that I see all these, like, or listen to all these car ads, and it's just weird. They're, car ads are freaking really weird. I'll give or you just that. ads in general. I don't usually see much throughout my day, yeah. other than, like, on transit. The weirdest ads I've ever heard on the radio are when they just play the audio from a movie trailer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've heard that once or twice, and I'm like, now what's this supposed to accomplish? <laughs> like... I do not know. It, and it's like a horror movie too, so it's just like, ah! <laughs> and I'm like, what is this? Who is nice. this for? Okay, but yeah, is that kind of how you're just hearing about what's going on? That's yeah, that's through the radio. That's how we're getting ninety percent of our uh, of our news stuff is just yeah, having the radio on to music most of the t- most of the day, and then just. If somebody hears something interesting, they turn it up and they're like, hey, everyone, did you hear this happened? And we're like, whoa. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I suppose that works. I don't know. As a general rule of thumb, that would suck. I mean, I guess if it's music. Yeah, find a station you like. And we watched the first Justin Trudeau um, press conference where mm-hmm. he was freaking half an hour late coming out of his house. Yeah. Um. He, he, he might be slightly explain? busy. No, did he, he ever did not. explain why? Oh, because, yeah, we were just watching an empty podium for like half an hour and we we're like, all right. And then, uh, but we didn't watch the second one. We just heard from the radio what he said. And same with the Doug Ford one. We just heard what he said. Mm-hmm. But I think um, he's done like, what, five or eight of them or something now? Yeah, he's done a lot. They're, and they're like 40 minutes long. At least, yeah. So, it is funny how. Um, the government people are uh, somewhat, not with Justin Trudeau, because his wife had it. Mm-hmm. So they were staying far away. But with like Doug Ford, he was like pretty close to those people around. So I'm like, hmm. They were close, but there was also only five of them. And it seemed like the reporters were a decent distance away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm still looking forward to seeing uh, all the MPs get together on like Skype or something. <laughs> that I, I really hope they do that because that just sounds so funny, so chaotic. Like, I really it's terrible, hope they do but... Zoom and somebody gets True. that beach background you have there. Oh, that would be the best. That would be so good. Who seems like who seems like the type of person to do that? Elizabeth May seems like the type of person to do that. <laughs> to just put a beach background? Yeah, yeah. actually she would. She definitely yeah. would. <laughs> <laughs> Though, depending on the meeting, sometimes it would probably be like an image of like an oil spill or something just to ah, prove true. a point. Yeah. It's a polluted beach. Oh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. All the garbage is washing up. It's a live feed of an actual beach. Yeah. That's actually a power move right there. Damn. That would, that would be pretty sick. Yeah. This is a whole new medium of parliamentary discourse. And for if you're filibusting, you could just like you could just like make beach sounds for like as long as you want or like yeah could they just like play a movie or something while they're filibustering just like behind them 
<laughs> probably, probably they picked their they picked like a pretty tame movie. You just watch the SpongeBob movie four times in a row, and there you go. That's a day. There you go, and just sit there commentating like on the movie or something. <laughs> yeah, just like in here, Dennis grows a mustache. I know it's gonna be cool once the the what what's the group of people who are in charge of the parliament mps there's mps but like justin trudeau and the lads what would you call them (laughs) um (laughs) the cabinet uh, yeah cabinet yeah 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 Yeah, waiting for the cabinet to get a jedi temple set up where they can all like hologram in oh yeah that'd be amazing or a kingsman type thing too either one Ooh, true yeah same idea where that they can like perfect. just pretend that they're in a meeting, but I would prefer actually the Jedi Temple because that'd be really funny. But just like holograms of them, just all like stand, either sitting cross-legged or just like stand in there. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, Justin Trudeau's definitely Anakin. Ooh, yeah, he looks it. He looks like him, but for no other reason. Don't <sighs> get me wrong. Ooh, ooh <laughs> that is some foreshadowing right there. No, no, he's 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 an alright dude. He'll do anything but, uh, he, to he save his wife. Like, <laughs> he just kind of looks like Hayden Christensen. I'm just gonna say that, but this has gone off the rails, but in a pretty nice way. It's pretty this nice, this uh, is the real conspiracy theories. Justin Trudeau will sacrifice the nation to try and gain yeah. the ability to save <laughs> lives. <laughs> Can you learn this power? <laughs> We'll see. Um, Maybe he will be able to. This is this is for everyone sitting inside their house, just wanting some banter with other people that they can't have. Boom! Here's your banter. So much banter. Grade A, quality tested banter. Ah, oh, complete and other nonsense. Love it. Yeah, this you is what you need sometimes. to do. Yeah, when you can't go out and like see people in person, unless you're one of the dads like yelling across the street. With a beer. Yeah. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> You just got to get on Zoom and talk about how Justin Trudeau resembles Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He's like Anakin Skywalker never turned into Darth Vader. Had the like old Jedi beard and stuff. Yeah, actually, instead of getting the helmet, he's just got a beard. <laughs> Unless that's his version. Ooh. Ooh. He's already starting to complete the turn. Spooky. Ooh, or is he Luke? And his father was the nah, one. doesn't look turned. like Luke, though. No, that's true. He's also, dead, Pierre was kind of sick. That's true. Yeah, I wouldn't call him <laughs> Darth. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. He'd be the type of person to throw the Emperor off the off the ledge of a... Oh, definitely. The Death Star, yeah. He, he's the type of man to curtsy behind the Queen, so... Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think this will be a short episode after... Honestly, whatever editing you want to do, this is just some banter. Yeah. We there was a few tips in there, I guess. What go shopping online, go for walks, construct an office to separate your work from the rest of your life, preferably out of pillows and sheets. And you know, everyone just make the best of it. You know, this won't last forever. We don't know how long it will last, but it won't last forever. So just keep that in mind and try to make the best of the situation you're in right now. Uh, well, it won't last forever, but. It is going to last a while, so make sure that you adjust to the situation oh, yeah, and yeah, keep yeah. yourself healthy. Don't think of it as like, ah, oh, well, I'm just going to stop living like my life for a week and then get back to it. No, no, you no. You got to adapt. Keep to what you normally do as best as you can. Yeah, keep as many of the routines going as you can or that would like continue to help you while you're at home, but and then maybe look into what else can improve your life i i I just found an interesting thing that says um all the ways coronavirus is stopping climate change in its tracks oh yeah that's true that's doing a good job at that i thought i thought it would bring up because that's pretty interesting yeah that is a nice silver lining so the obviously the the everyone knows the venice one where it's running clear the water in the Venice in the canals is running. In the clear. canals. Yeah. But one thing I didn't know was that apparently it has um it actually has some like fish and stuff in it. Ooh, wacky. So that's crazy. Because if you've ever been to Venice and seen the canals, you would not think that uh many things could survive in there. I have not. But there you go. 
I have just been to this beach behind me. Yeah. Oh, I wish. I wish I could go to that beach. It'd be so but nice. Another interesting thing about this, so it, it started in China, and China had so many like emissions from like cars and manufacturing and stuff. At least Wuhan so far has noticed a significant improvement in air quality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not all regions of China. Like I think Beijing's about the same, but specifically the areas heavily affected. Yeah, big reduction. Do you know um, uh, what? This this kind of reminds me of what? Godzilla. <laughs> what? <laughs> Explain. It's basically the premise of Godzilla is that like it was like awakened by some like nuclear blasts or whatever, and uh, it's like the it represents like the environment like coming back because like humans are destroying the environment so then it's like you know like the environment coming back and just like causing a, a crisis for the so that like the earth can recover mm-hmm. it's the same kind of thing it's exactly the same in fact yeah. coronavirus is godzilla but yeah it's just like a like a, a big tragedy or not tragedy i guess but like event like that that's causing all these like ecological improvements yeah Yeah, it'll be interesting very interesting we'll see if any of the measures stay in place or at least in like less extreme ways now that people know we can affect climate change yeah i was chatting with a friend about this and i was i found it interesting and he's like yeah too bad like all those fish in the canals in venice will die like the week after everyone stops isolating (laughs) they just start polluting again and i'm like ah too true yeah but still it the temporary pause has a big impact like i've heard one estimate from an economist talking about how ecologist economist oh oh economy boy yeah yeah yeah. he did like um some estimates that was showing that there could actually be more lives saved in China because of the r- reduction in pollution and the increase in air quality than have died from directly wow. from coronavirus. Yeah, those are very early estimates, but like... Oh. But it, the air quality was really bad. Yeah. So, in a lot of places. Highly. Mm. That's quite interesting. Always balance. Yeah, in the force. as it should be. <laughs> oh, we took that different ways. As it Balance should be. Balance as everything should be. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Snap. Whoa, never mind. It's not Godzilla. It's Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Here to wipe out half of humanity so that we yeah. have more resources. That's a that's a spooky note. But on that note, I think we'll, uh, we'll have to end it for today. 